Every decision, event, or quantum interaction results in the creation of a new universe, branching off from the previous one. This means that there could be an infinite number of universes, each slightly or radically different from ours, depending on the choices and events that occur. At its core, this theory suggests the existence of multiple universes, often referred to as parallel or alternate universes, coexisting alongside our own. But is there a parallel world or multiverse beyond the cinema? The discussion about parallel worlds should begin with the understanding that any perspective on their existence or absence is a theory, typically based on other theories. And theories are essentially assumptions. That's why this conversation is always intriguing and captivating. Many hypotheses in this realm stem from various viewpoints regarding the universe's origin, the nature of subatomic particles, and other preferences. In these musings, we find ourselves wandering through the boulevard, one of the countless exhibitions of the universe that arise and progress in their own unique ways. Let's set aside the notions of rings, butterfly dreams, and other Marvel-inspired ideas of multiple worlds. Instead, let's examine the multiverse theories from the perspective of rigorous science. First and foremost, we should mention the Big Bang Theory. Currently, it stands as the theory of the universe's origin that has garnered the most empirical evidence, primarily through modern space observation technologies and the deductions drawn from the data acquired. Unfortunately, the existence of multiple universes doesn't quite align with this theory. The principles of the scientific method indicate that, at this stage of scientific progress, the following hypotheses cannot be definitively proven or disproven. Consequently, although incredibly fascinating, they remain speculative in nature. Cosmic inflation, an extremely brief period at the start of the universe, lasting between 10 to the minus 36th power and 10 to the minus 32nd power seconds from the moment of the Big Bang. During this fleeting epoch, the primary plasma, composed of fused elementary particles, underwent an astonishing expansion, expanding by at least 10 to the power of 78 times. At the end of this expansion, elementary particles cooled sufficiently to separate into light and the components that would eventually form chemical elements. By the way, the particles of light released at the conclusion of inflation constitute relic radiation, whose observations have provided invaluable insights into the Big Bang. Now, one multiverse theory posits that inflation was not uniform. In certain regions of the Big Bang, inflation halted earlier than in our segment, while in others, it may still be ongoing. According to this hypothesis, put forth by theoretical physicist Alexander Vilenkin of Tufts University, each segment of the Big Bang in which inflation ceases and star formation commences becomes a distinct universe. It would be impossible to traverse to other universes in this scenario, as the boundaries of each universe would recede at velocities surpassing that of light. Nonetheless, there's also a conjecture that other universes might be much closer than one might imagine. In 1927, a group of the most eminent physicists devised the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum physics. According to these tenets, elementary particles exist in a state known as superposition, wherein their potential speed and position aren't precisely defined but represent a spectrum of possibilities. Upon observation, this spectrum narrows down to a specific value of velocity, or position, crystallizing into reality. All other potentialities finishes the range of possible values made or realizes into the observed outcome. The many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics proposes that all the other conceivable states of particles don't dissipate, but rather form an infinite array of alternate universes. However, the likelihood of such a progression of events is also quite improbable. There are roughly 10 to the power of 90 particles in the observable universe, and each interaction among them generates its own version of the quantum universe. This process has been ongoing since the inception of the Big Bang, encompassing all particles. The resulting number tends toward infinity. But what about the true infinity of the unified space itself? 
not merely its infinite variations? Judging by all appearances, our universe is flat. The absence of bends and the boundedness of the visible universe can lead us to contemplate the idea of infinity. In an infinite expanse where there's a defined number of elements that make up everything, the scale of infinity doesn't exclude the possibility of an identical copy of our galaxy, solar system, planet, and even personality. However, modern science leans toward a completely different perspective. For instance, American astrophysicist and a renowned science communicator Ethan Siegel, in one of his publications, refutes the possibility of an infinite universe. This is impossible for several reasons. Firstly, the universe originated at a relatively precisely defined point in time. Even if there was a miraculous inflation at the beginning, it's still not enough to make it infinite. Furthermore, the quantity of matter formed from the primordial plasma has been calculated in one way or another. It's also not infinite, particularly the portion that constitutes the visible universe. But could there be at least one parallel universe? Hypothetically, yes. A recently formulated hypothesis suggests the possibility of a reflection of our universe on the other side of the Big Bang. Born within the halls of Canada's Perimeter Institute, this theory envisions the universe before the Big Bang as a mirrored reflection with reverse time and other attributes of antipodality. Yet, akin to the ideas of Nobel laureate Roger Penrose, who adheres to the oscillating universe theory, such a formulation can hardly be called an alternative universe in the full sense. This idea of a mirrored universe gained more attention after the publication of results from the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, ANITA, Neutrino Research Project. Subatomic particles were observed moving in a direction opposite to the norm. However, firstly, the ground-based neutrino detection station, Ice Cube, did not register any similar phenomena. And secondly, the existence of a parallel universe is only one, and the least likely hypothesis to explain this unusual phenomenon. Establishing connections between unrelated things is an evolutionary adaptation that has helped us survive throughout history. Hence, it's not surprising that many people are inclined toward it. But what if we are already in a parallel universe? For instance, Max Lucan was convinced that CERN scientists, through experiments with subatomic particles at the Large Hadron Collider, destroyed our universe, and we were all transported to another one. However, such ideas do not align with the scientific viewpoint, primarily because parallel universes remain. For now, not even theories, but hypotheses. There's nothing wrong with being captivated by ideas. So let's explore what possible alternatives exist for interdimensional travel, aside from shifting into one of the quantum parallel worlds via a destroyed electron in Europe. Can we ever travel to another universe? In reality, the prospects of interdimensional travel are not very inspiring. From the inflationary model, where the edges of galactic bubbles move too fast to catch up with, to the absolute determinism of quantum parallel worlds. It can be confidently said that traveling through parallel quantum worlds is unnecessary because most of them already have a copy of every person. There is a viewpoint that the cold spot on the map of relic radiation may indicate the spot where our universe bubble collided with another. But for now, there is no more confirmation of this hypothesis than the idea that cosmic microwave background radiation is absorbed by a cosmic microwave. By the way, we know not much more about regions with elevated temperature radiation than the cold spot. They, among other things, could be traces of a universe that preceded the Big Bang. There's no mention of agreement with the mirrored parallel universe theory, primarily because much more attention is paid to the cold spot. By the way, the most efficient way to reach the mirrored universe is time travel. Just rewind 13.8 billion years to it, and then the required amount in reverse. So, there are plenty of possibilities for the existence of multiple worlds, unlike ways to prove their existence, not to mention the possibility of getting into one of them. But the unknown has one wonderful feature. 
It becomes known over time and effort. It only takes enough human attention to focus on it. For example, by the end of the next decade, the launch of the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA project is planned, which will take gravitational wave research to a new level. Another modification of the CERN-Hadron Collider is also almost complete. So for us, scientific enthusiasts, all that's left is to observe and await the results.